Hello, I'd like to show you how you can create your own Google drawing about Martin Luther King Jr. I will show you a few tips and tricks about Google drawings. So if you're working within this hyperdoc and you click on the Martin Luther King Jr. Google drawing, it will open up and ask you, do you want to make a copy? So click yes, you do want to make a copy. Once you make a copy, this is your very own document. It doesn't belong to me anymore. It's called copy of Martin Luther King Jr. word splash. And it will look exactly like mine, but when you share it with your teacher, it will not look exactly like mine. So this document is loading right now and you can see that I've only put a few things on here it's not really cool. It's not really personalized. There's not a lot of different colors. That image is loading as well. So we have a title and a place to put your name. The first thing you might want to do is double click on the title. And maybe you want to have a slightly different title. Maybe not. Or you can double click on where it says click to type your name here. And I'm going to type Mrs. Monagle, and I'll press enter, and now it's changed, and I can resize it um, however I would like. It's being a little bit fussy. There we go. So I can resize it. You definitely want to have your name on there. Now, maybe you're looking at the title, and you want to change the font and color. If I select the title Martin Luther King Jr., I can click on the font. I can change it to my favorite font. I can click on the paint bucket and I can change it to my favorite color. I can add an outline to it. I can make the outline thicker. I can do all sorts of things to that title. I can move that title. Maybe I would like it in a different spot. I can also change the background color. Maybe I want, I don't want this light blue. I'm going to use two fingers for a right click on that trackpad and I'm going to select the word background. Ooh, these gradient backgrounds are kind of fun. Maybe I want to have a background that has a little swirl of color rather than just one solid color. So that looks pretty cool. I like that. I can also change my name to match the color of Martin Luther King Jr. I can use the paint format and click, click, and look at that. That looks pretty similar. Now, I'm going to click on this picture of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr., and I can uh, delete it and I can add my own picture if I would like to. If you want to add your own picture, you can click the picture of the mountains up here where it says insert image. And I am going to search the web. And I can type. If I type Martin, Martin Luther King Jr. is the first one that came up. So I can take a look. And if I move my picture a little bit. I can find a picture that maybe I like better. This one's pretty similar. This one's a little bit different. I can click that picture and I can press insert and I can move that picture wherever I would like it to be. I can resize it. Now this is called a word splash. So I'm gonna add a few more words to this about Martin Luther King Jr. So let me think of some things that I learned. I'm going to click insert and word art by that capital letter A. And now I get this box and I can think of some words that I learned about Martin Luther King Jr. So maybe I learned that he was that he was brave. So I could type in brave, press enter, and now that word appears. I can move it, I can resize it, I can color it. Maybe I learned, let's do another word art, insert word art, or let's do something a little different. Let's do a shape. Let's see, what shape do I want? Maybe I just want to do a circle or maybe I want to do a call out. Now I picked a shape and I need to click with two fingers and draw it. And maybe I want to flip that image and make it look like Martin Luther King Jr. is saying something. So I could type in there. I have a dream. Hmm, so I've added a few things here. Maybe I need some more pictures. I need some more words. I think I'll show you just one more thing though. Let's see, I showed you how to add an image. What else? 
Another thing you could do is you could add a text box. Maybe you want to type things that are a little more longer sentences instead of just single words. So I clicked on this T for text box, and now it's waiting for me to draw that text box. So now I can type a sentence in there, something that I learned about Martin Luther King Jr. I could say he gave a speech in Washington, D.C., period. Well, let's get a capital C there, period. I could even go back and I could search the web for Washington, D.C. Whoops. Let's try that again. I'll need to click the X. Well, let's see. If I click the X, it seems like it's going away, so I don't want to do that. I want to delete Martin Luther King Jr. and type Washington, D.C. And let's see. Oh, there's a nice picture showing the Washington Monument. There's a nice picture showing the Capitol. I think I like this one. And I can insert that picture. And, oh, that came in pretty big. I'm going to use the corners and resize that picture. And I can actually move that text around a little bit, too. Now, one last thing I'll show you. Mine is not done yet. There's still a lot of empty space. I need to add some more learning about Martin Luther King Jr. But you will want your teacher to get a copy of this. So the maybe the last thing you might want to do is click this blue share button. Give it a little time to come up. There we go. And hopefully you have an idea how to type your teacher's name. If you don't, you can ask a grown up to help you. And if I wanted to share this, my name's Mrs. Monagle. So if I type Monagle, my name comes up and your teacher's name will come up too. And all I have to do is click send and your teacher will get a copy and see what a great job that you did on this project. Hope you have fun working on this Google Drawing Word Splash. Bye-bye.